Now some breaking overnight news out of Providence. I'm mean, in a series on Linwood Avenue right off of Route 10 by Union Ave. That's where crews are on the scene this morning of a deadly early morning fire. I'm in a series reporter Rosie Woods gathering information at the scene this morning. She joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Good morning. Well, I was just talking to Paul Dowdy. He's the head of the arson squad. You can see some of his team is still inside and over here working right now. What we know is that this is actually a crime scene, not just a fire that has been put out because we don't know what caused the man that was inside to die. One fatality, that's what we know. We don't know if anyone else was inside at this time, but we do know there was that one fatality. And because of that, they're going to be on the scene for a while trying to figure out cause of death as well as identify this man. Now take a look at some of the footage that we have from overnight. As you can see, it was around 2 a.m. That's when the call came in. It was a very bad fire. I was told it was fully involved when they got here. You can see from our footage that it was the roof, the second floor, a lot of damage there causing this to be a complete loss. That's what the fire department is telling me now that this building is a complete loss. It was owned by the bank and it will just be torn down at this point. But again, the fire is now out. The fire department has left. There are a couple of police officers still on the scene as well as the arson squad. But again, I did speak to the assistant fire chief earlier this morning. Here's some of what he had to say. We have no uh, cause yet. We have the arson people, arson division here and uh, the fire prevention division is here doing their investigation, then they will uh, contact the medical examiner who will come and, and uh, process and remove the uh, person. Now again, this is an active crime scene. I'm told it will stay active until early afternoon because they have so much to still figure out what caused the fire as well as this fatality that they now have to put into account. So we will be here continuing to try to dig and find more information for you. We'll be putting that online on our website as well as social media as well as right here on air. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.